How's it going, everybody? I'm here back with another video on Final Fantasy 16. <clears throat> I had a had a couple time, had a little bit of time off. Where's Gav? Nearly a week off, but I'm back now. Ready? Do this. Hope you guys are excited. Got to speak. Yeah. Gav should be Go. back by now. I'm gonna hop right into I this thing. This there it is. Yeah. Ah, Clive! How oh, I've missed that scowl! <laughs> Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Very true. Now sit down, nice down you fool. So... You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. There it is. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <laughs> And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using Liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. Damn. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. Hmm? What the hell? It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Oh. Oh. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. Mm -hmm. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. <laughs> I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Weird. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. Some of this food just got it. Jesus. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? This food gave. You're like, you're not going, bro. Peace. Money pouch. Ooh. That's all extra, like side quest type content. Yeah, see? You probably won't even touch that for like a good while. Uh, how do we feel on our way to aliens? Or is the patient whisper the humble? How do we get this party start? What yeah, are we yeah. waiting yeah. for indeed? Finish your heart. Oh. She. Hold on. If I go there, does. Oh, we're fine. 
trying to see if uh, if I went there, there's like progress the story for where I can't do nothing else. That's so. Pause. Back. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Ooh. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironholm. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do oh. the same. Oh. We'll face it together then. Gonna be like now. Nah. To the end. Oh. Okay. Come on. Or go to. Yeah, yeah. Bloodlines. Huh? How far do you think? Hold on. Can I? No, I cannot. Mother's reach extends. Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There's still many settlements That's right. between here and Port Isolde. I did the last we'll time. as many as we <laughs> can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. I can't get up here. There it is. I should probably fight. Not gonna lie. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Hmm. Jill, look. Oh. The black Rosaria black must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a crap. new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. Hmm. What you could fancy you do? dancing a gallows jig like the millers. You. What do you know? Excuse me, but what was all? You haven't heard. Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison. Supplies stolen. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants. Don't they just? Damn, Keep somebody's been fighting back. The Black Shields will pay good coin. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. There you are. You. You know. You seen it? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. At least I think there was a Black Shield. Was this the first time that? What do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought, if only we were, I might have turned him in and become a black ship. Hmm. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. Probably not. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travel. I know that. What? what do you we couldn't help noticing those Imperial so Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. 
I speak for the people of this village. You are to leave Amber. May I at least ask? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your the Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, this village will not become another East. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to death. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Mm -hmm. Obedience bought with... Are you all right? We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking Well, whoever they are, the Imperial... But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to... Exactly. A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before... Perhaps the next village will yield more answer. Perhaps. Find out. Can I, uh, yes, I can. Chocobo. Right. Fly, Ambrosia. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Since the Apollo tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? Okay. Can the metal crystals collapse? I have an oh, idea. Geez. You're not going to like it. This way, it's a smaller area. Six, damn. Yes. More this is what I wanted. Fights. 
Easy peasy. Hey, look, it's a chest. I actually missed that. Blood, Clive. And still wet. Hopefully, it didn't fall over. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Yes. Very much Why so. then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrog to Shut up, dwell in darkness up. that we may purge the night. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield of this area. <laughs> That move is cheesy. Where the? There you are, bro. This one. Oh, do something. I missed everybody. Easy peasy. Not a lot of money. Talk to me like that again, bro. Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why you? Your friends have been found. They await you. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Bro. Turn this real quick. All right. 
That means they're right here. Oh no, don't jump open. Killed all those people. Found her. This is some Game of Thrones shit right here, man. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. My man's is pissed. And I will end it. I'm gonna kill his own mom. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south. They may already be in Port Isolde. Okay. Bruv, what in the heck? <sighs> Jesus. See dead bodies everywhere. They're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Let's go. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna just Faster. go fast. You guys ever seen uh, Sonic? Go faster, 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 faster. Oh no, Back no! The stables, Carl. Didn't happen to come by way of Old Hill, did you? Yes. Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. And you know what happened? I did, mummy. I could hear him shouting from down the road. Bruh. They tell us there's a curfew oh, and they refuse us passage back to our home. Who am I to say? They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Go that way. I do. Crap. Okay, good. You left me alone. I'll take it. You knew better. All right. I walk. Ready, go. Have a chocobo. Fly, Ambrosia. The Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. I told my uncle fared better. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Oh, barricade. Jesus. Let us pass! My children are starving! Oh. 
Have mercy. Voice friends, dogs they are. You can't ignore us forever. Listen, or we'll die on your doorstep. Better out there than in here. No, then enough. Shut the fuck up. I'm the jealous bastards. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you, filth? Back to your stall. Cut you down where you stand. Just try it. Jesus, what the hell's going on? Chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. Just, they just not accepting like refugees or something? Is nobody allowed to enter? I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. I suspect everyone in that crowd. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town. The Lazarus. Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. Do you think it's safe? No. As long as it is abandoned. All right. Black light. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. Oh, would you sprint? Open sesame. <clears throat> this is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Okay. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Stop. <clears throat> Just stop. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Hmm. <clears throat> so bandits took over the town. Rounded them all up and then just whooped them. I've only ever seen one man fight like that, and he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. Wait, it can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Hold on. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not <laughs> whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Bruh, it's Wade. I thought that man died. Founder, it really is you. It is. So Wade. We can speak inside. This makes me happy, but it's another 15 minute cutscene.
And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Oh shit. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. Mm-hmm. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. Yep. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. Go we'll fight them. Go. Oh. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. Yep. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. Yep. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Mm -hmm. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. Let's go one last time. Wait, hopefully he doesn't die, though. That would suck. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Ooh. You're telling me that's the Archduke's Guardian Quartermaster. What is it you require? Hey! What? Whoa. I have two of these for some reason. One, one. Crimson Tassel. I. Hell no. I need that for. I'll grab some of these, sure. Will that be all? Elixir. That's expensive. As you wish, my lord. Of course, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Um. This. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. I will be here should you need aught else. Go, bro. Tell us then, Sir Wade. Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units. How small exactly? Small enough. Now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. But until we arrived, that was your plan. So wait. 
The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for as you come out. Thank you, Sir Wade. There is but one thing which will grant putting an end to and so we Yeah, prioritize. 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 prioritize? He sounds dumb. Uh, that means scenario. The universe members were keen to learn this. Very depending on how this mission they might choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Sweet. Let's go. Open the gates. May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. Damn. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say. That got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Yeah. Yeah. You moving again? I got my sideways. Come along now. The bastards are lucky on you. There they are. On your command, my lord. Now, hold on. Dismount. Thanks, girl. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine from the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! <laughs> you presume to tell us? Yes. Much that a so. pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, Poor could guard dog aught against the up. might of the Black Shields. Then come, die along with your flame. Forest area, forest area. Your petty revolution Meow. ends here. On these are swords, we swear. This one. Over here. Oh, bloody hell. Reinforcements from the far bank. Another one meant to fight that battle for them. Ow. Get him. That's the one. Down. Yeah. The enemy just got done with this one. The Imperials aren't taking any chances. Come on, come on, come on. Bro. Oh shit, another dragoon. A noble stand. Albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. Elemental is damn tall. Ah. 
finish him. Jump. No. Down, son. was not hard but it was fun your link dragon talon the other ones you're not gonna go help them i don't see any <sighs> no do it did we sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud my uh lord Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. Perhaps. Though I doubt much. She'll move swiftly to see her minions. And then it will all... I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. Mm. And we must fight for it. Yep. As we always have. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy and her loyal subjects may dream of a day. Oh, everybody keeps speaking of the Duchy. When the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the a sound strategy. <laughs> we should do that, right? Good idea. Let's go. All right. So after this cuts in here, that is that's going to be the end of it. Got some good fighting in here. That's <laughs> a long time friend. And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to, and had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for... I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared... And appearances must be maintained. Mm -hmm. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, where he would be of no use, and so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord... It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if you ref Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the lack. <laughs> it's the mark of the guardians. Display it and those who love Rosaria. What? Hell yeah. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men at Unless if you only deserve Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Yep. That right there. Thank you, Sir Wayne. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Yep. I'm actually surprised this dude made it out. Let me go lie. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. Some heavy ass footsteps. Alright, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. I mean, 
means to string us up himself. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Hey, what the hell? Oh, wait a minute. Five Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. <laughs> Curse the infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? That's how he knows it was him. Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bruh. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, 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 Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> Almost like this, dog. Oh, you always were fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. <laughs> you big ass dude. Go on, sit. Uh, see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. Good plates. Why is why is that a thing? Where everybody's like, oh no no, use the good ones. You got, you got good guests here. What the fuck? So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side. But these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know. But the woman we knew is gone. And a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been 20 years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. 
And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? By your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. <laughs> is that true? It's not untrue. I'd say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. Oh, her. Because. He sees family and uh, she's like, damn, I miss my family. Uh, over there. Go on. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind. Yep. You know what's funny? I said this is the last like Monsters. part. And how? Basically. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? No, she's not a monster. I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you. Now give her a kiss. Clive. Now give her a kiss. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Go on. Just... Promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Good Torgo, just chilling there. Good old dog. Done. Done. Okay, cool. It. All right, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed. As always, catch you guys in the next one. Off weekends out.